Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new here, I'm Melissa and I make fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos here on this channel and today we're just going to be doing a little get ready with me, we're going to pick out this outfit, we're going to do my hair together and my makeup and I'm getting ready for my Christmas Eve party with my boyfriend's family. If you're interested in seeing how I get ready and having a little chit chat with me, get a little behind the scenes, a little extra information, then just keep watching. I had to add this part in here. I was dying, it was so funny. So I needed to use my makeup brushes, but they were all dirty. So I had to wash two and I didn't have any like quick dry brush soap. So I had to literally wash them and then blow dry them. So that was me blow drying my bougie brushes so I could use them to put on makeup. And then I just styled my hair as normal, just like super simple. All I did was blow it out. I didn't even like put any waves in it, just blew it out straight. That will work for now. I like how the bangs turned out. Super pretty. I really like the shine spray. This is the second time I've tested it out. So still in the testing process. All right, we're just gonna jump into some makeup. I'm gonna clip my hair back. Hair is out of the face. I did this combo the other day that I quite enjoyed. So I think I might try it again. So what I did was I mixed the Lumi Glotion with the It Cosmetic CC Cream and it came out super, super fantastic. I did also mix it with the Sephora Tinted Moisturizer. Mm, do I want to do that again? I'm not sure, but let's just jump right into it. I normally use my mirror over here, but I'm having to face this way, which the lighting isn't the best. So let me see if I can fix that really fast. All right, I added in another studio light. I don't know if that helped anything, but we are just going to jump right into it. So how did everybody's Christmas go? And if you don't celebrate Christmas, how is your holiday season going? Mine is going absolutely fantastic. I'm finally getting to relax a little bit, which is rare <laughs> these days, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna go in with any primer. I'm just gonna go in with this little concoction I've made up and just go all over my face. If you can hear noise in the back, Nick is cleaning the kitchen for us because we know how to make a mess. We are very good at it. So he's cleaning that up before we have to leave to go celebrate Christmas with his family. So I don't know if you already saw my last video, but we celebrated Christmas with my family. I think it was on Tuesday. And so now it's Christmas Eve and we're gonna be going to celebrate with his family. So that's why I'm getting ready. I just like to look a little bit put together, even though it's just gonna be a super chill thing. I'm just doing a cute little outfit and a little bit of makeup so I can look not like a naked mole rat because I have looked like a naked mole rat all semester long. <laughs> Coffee break. I'm thirsty. I need some espresso. That is delish. So I asked in a poll on my community tab if you guys wanted me to show you what I got for Christmas. I know those videos were super popular back in the day. Also, I'm going to be trying out a new concealer. This is the Rose Ink one. I had it in a lighter shade, so I needed to go up a little bit because it was too light for me. So let's see if this works or if I need to combine. It has a super big applicator, but it's very concentrated. So literally go in with the smallest amount. This one looks too dark for me. So I'm gonna have to go in with the lighter one and mix them together, which is totally fine. Anytime I buy any sort of skin product, I just assume I'm gonna have to mix and match to get my shade because that is my life. But yeah, I asked you guys if you wanted to see what I got for Christmas because again, they were super popular, but I didn't know if people still cared or what people felt about it for 2021 and moving forward but there was an overwhelming I don't think I got a single person who said they did not want to see it so I'm definitely going to be filming that video for you guys coming up really soon part of my Christmas present from Nick we're going on a trip well, the trip isn't the Christmas present we're going on a trip just because we haven't been on a vacation and literally I haven't been on a vacation in years I have been grinding it out in school just pedal to the metal just trying to get my life together <laughs> And so on the trip, I'm gonna be getting a Christmas present specifically on the trip, which I might film for you guys if you wanna see it. So all that was to say that I'm gonna be doing my Christmas, what I got for Christmas video after the trip. And the trip is the 29th through the 2nd. So you guys will still be getting content, but that video won't go up for a couple days, like a week or so. I'm sure nobody will mind, but that is how that one's gonna go. Just so we can go on the trip first and then I can get it that way I can show it to you guys if you guys are interested because it is a handbag that I've been wanting for so long. I cannot tell you how many years I've wanted this handbag. So I really hope it's in stock. 
we'll find out. I'll link all the makeup I used down below because I'm actually loving the products that I picked out, but I have LX010 and LX040. For my concealers, I need one in between these and it would be my perfect shade. But how have you guys been doing this Christmas season? Are you the type of person where the holidays are super stressful for you or did you have like a super good holiday season? Tell me all about it. I would love to hear it, whether it was good or bad. I, in the past, had a lot of stress around the holidays because of like body image reasons and I wasn't able to fully celebrate the holidays without being stressed out or just worried about judgment but this year totally different I've been feeling so good ready to tackle the world I mean a little burnt out from school but still ready to tackle the world and not care what people think not that people are judging me this holiday season but you know when you live in a larger body life is harder so I'm super happy I've been able to relax a little bit and just kind of recenter and i want to put out a video of like my 2022 new year's resolutions it has nothing to do with weight loss or anything like that it's just kind of like my goals for personal growth it'll touch on my health journey a little bit and what my goals are if you guys are interested so i do polls a lot to see what you guys want to see for me because i never know if the content that i'm putting out is interesting so i i ask because sometimes i have de i have ideas that have been done before and i just want to make sure that people still care about it this is a new powder for me the jua one i'm been absolutely loving it i literally have three shades i have a bronzer shade a light shade for under my eyes and then well i guess a fair shade for under my eyes and then a light shade for my face cannot forget the neck and I also have some outfits that we'll try on after this. I have two dresses in mind, but I have to keep in mind that Nick's mom's house is normally pretty hot. I'm very hot in that house, so I have to make sure I wear something I'll stay cool in. Oop, I have an alarm. All right, foundation went on fast. We are moving and grooving. Now it is time for a little bit of bronzer. I think I'm just gonna use my hourglass bronzer. Pick a blush. I think I just want a little pop of pink, so soft nectar. Give you my mascara. Let's just pick out all of our makeup while we're in here. I have setting spray over there. Love this on my eyes. That's really funny though because I thought that this video was going to be up on Christmas because this entire year all of my uploads have fallen on like holidays. And so that's been like super interesting because sometimes I film before the holiday and then it goes up on the holiday but I forget to mention the holiday in the video because it was before it was filmed before the holiday obviously so then I feel bad. I'm like oh I should have wished everybody a happy holiday whatever it was at the time. So just know if I don't mention a holiday, it's not because I don't celebrate or I'm not trying to wish you a very good one. It's just at a different time than I am posting on. Okay, this is an accomplishment. I have not missed or skipped an upload in a year, officially a year. Last year, I started my YouTube back up again and I have not missed an upload. I've done two a week the entire year through finals, through not feeling great. Sometimes I was on my period and filming sucked so bad, but I did it anyway because I just made a personal goal to just get it done, whatever it took. And so here we are, I'm so excited. I'm still not monetized on YouTube yet, which is absolutely ridiculous. I just dropped something as per the huge. But yeah, isn't that crazy? I'm still not monetized. So anytime you watch a video, I don't make money from it. So everything is self-funded, which is fine. This is like a really good passion project for me. But if any of you have been watching my ads, skip them. <laughs> they're not going to me at all highlighter is on it's always so funny what you look like with a full face of makeup and then no eyes it's like a stark contrast looks a little wild all right i'm gonna throw just some bronzer in my crease oh also even though i said i was gonna do this video a while ago and i'm still going to i have so many videos that i'm filming in the next week or two like going on vacation and then new year's and christmas so i have all these videos planned that i'm doing so we will get to my closet that is still happening it's just gonna happen i think later on in my break i don't have that much longer on break i go back to school the 10th and my birthday is the 14th so i'm not sure what i'm even doing for my birthday or if i'm doing anything early but we will get to my closet before school starts that's my goal so within the next like two weeks we're gonna get to that closet even though it has been the bait of my existence it's like it's not terrible it's just i have so many little things in there i have a bunch of bins from moving that i never went through it was a bunch of little teeny tiny stuff little trinkets and like jewelry bags that i don't have jewelry in right now that i don't know where to put and i need to find a spot for because everything needs a home 
So we'll have to go through all of that together. There's a color in my crease. I think I'm just gonna put on this. This has been such a simple eye look I've been doing. This is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Rich Sparkle Eyeshadow in Moonstone. It has been one of my absolute favorites this year. Oh, that reminds me. Do you guys want like my 2021 favorites? Is that something you're interested in? I need to write all this down. I have so many ideas and so little time, but that would be a good video for me to put out because I think I have some pretty good recs. I know I'm tooting my own horn, but even my sister, she tells like anytime she needs something, she'll call me because I pretty much have a recommendation or something to say about a category. I'm gonna bring this up to my brow bone. So I like kind of shimmer up there a little bit. It is Christmas Eve after all, folks. I'm sparkling, sparkling. Who here can sing? Cause I can't and I want to would love to be able to sing. All right, so this is another eyeshadow that I'm absolutely in love with. The Starlet Powder by some brand. I'll link it down below because I forget. Make it forever. That's it. I take a little setting spray. It's the YSL one. Then I dip my powder. Dippity do. This is the wrong brush for the job, but we're committed. And then I do my inner corner. whoa all right we're looking good but i definitely got like half of it in my eye love that for me i need to put some mascara on though because i am looking funny but i do need to put on some brows this product is so easy if you have natural brows <laughs> natural brows if you have some brow hairs and your brows aren't like 100 percent sparse this is the really good product because i i have some brow you know uh, it's not like all my hair is missing. I just have a few sparse areas. So this is like the perfect product that I have found that I prefer. And it just gives like a natural brow. Super easy. It's not overdone. I mean, again, do you. If you want super intense brows, do it, girl. Live it up. Whoever you are, just do whatever you want. My brows look a little crazy, but like at the end of the day, I don't care. I know they frame your face. I know they shape your face, but I can't be bothered. Brows are set onto mascara this wasn't meant to be a tutorial at all i was just meant to like talk to you guys about the holidays but yeah so those are my plans by the way all those videos if you guys ever have any videos you want me to do you can put them in the comments down below i do my best to do what you guys want but a lot of the time i'm just doing random videos that seems so fun to me and then i'm like you know what that's a good one let me do that one like the bake with me video the baking my cookies i have never spent so much time on a video in my life i literally I started filming at 10 in the morning and I didn't finish editing until 10 at night. So it was a 12 hour day of baking, filming, editing to get it out the next day. And how my filming schedule works, I have to do it all in one day. Because again, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I have, I'm in school full-time, I work. I have lots to do all the time. I try to run a household, even though I'm not the best at it. My house is always a mess. <laughs> if you saw my desk right now, you'd be like, girl, get your life together. I'm trying, okay, I'm trying. But it's like, as I get older, unless people are coming over and unless I have the time, I'm a little bit more gentle with myself. Like if I can't get to something, you know what? The world's not gonna end, which is good because I know earlier in my twenties, I was very, very type A and everything was hard for me if I couldn't do it exactly how I thought it should be done. But that's part of growing up. I'm so excited to do my new year's resolution video though, because I have so many ideas for you guys. Most of you who watch me are around my age, maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger, but I'm not the best at adulting and I've really been trying the past few years to learn about like finances and learn about things that I was never really taught. So I'm gonna share some of that stuff with you for like goals that I wanna do throughout the year in case it can help anybody, in case nobody taught you some things that you wanna know about, then maybe I can help you while I try to help myself. <laughs> Okay, I'm making a mess, but when am I not making a mess? I call myself Hurricane Melissa. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm a hurricane. Hey, me like a hurricane. I'm gonna be so annoyed when I take this off later. There's so many coats of mascara. I'm gonna be sitting there like, why? My lips are so dry. I look cute. A little dry, but like, what else is new? All right, I need to try to get some of this mascara off from under my eye. Ew, I'm creasing. I used this powder under my eyes and it worked really well the other day. Let's see if it works again or if it's a mistake. Please don't be a mistake. It's one of the like light shades. You know what? I should go in with my beauty blender. I'm not sure that did anything, mate. 
I'm not sure. I have to stop at some point or I'm gonna start looking cakey. You know what? Creases are fine. Literally, you call me crusty, I don't care. I'll get over it. So, I'm gonna put some of this on. This is the YSL setting spray. I don't know why I went so hard on that. I just felt like I had to. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm thirsty. I should get water. <gasps> I forgot to use this and I wanted to try it out. The LMS Superfood thing I just talked about in my last video. The Glow Priming Moisturizer with Kombucha. Oh well. There always will be more time to put on makeup. Ooh, this makeup is itching my hand. That is not a good sign. <laughs> I look cute. I look prim and proper. You know what? It's Christmas. So I'm just gonna wear clear gloss. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But like, I don't wanna do my anything on my lips. Cause glossy lips are so cute. So I'll just keep this. This is one of the Sephora ones. All right, let's take the hair out of the clips. Did we forget anything? You guys need to let me know. Did I forget to do lashes? No. I'm just gonna go with this hairstyle today. It's one of those things where like, I'm trying to look put together, but I also don't wanna heat style my hair. Like I've discussed a billion times. What else do I need to do? Lips are done. I, did, I didn't do contour, but I didn't mean that. A bronzer, I did bronzer. My eyes are done. My brows are on. I set with some setting spray. Let me try to get some natural light. I actually don't look that bad. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but you know. This mirror, because the lights are so harsh, let me tone them down for a second. Whoa. Sometimes my makeup looks crazy when I turn that light off because it was so bright. Oh, you can see my highlight. Okay, I have like this dot of mascara that I need to get rid of and then I'm done. This canvas has been painted. I'm snatched and ready to go. Did I say this canvas is ready to be painted? Because that doesn't make any sense. I really don't remember what I said and it was like two seconds ago. I think that's good. Now let's move on to outfit options. And I need to figure out how to do this without you seeing the parts of my room that are messy. I have to keep all this makeup out so I remember what I use so I can link it down below for you guys in case you'll like this look. What time is it? I have to go in 30 minutes. So we need to pick out an outfit and I have two options. So be right back. Option number one is this black dress from City Chic. I know I have a lot like it, but it's super comfortable and I just wanna be comfortable. That's like my main goal. And it's short sleeve. It's kind of like a balloon sleeve. So I'll try that on in one second. This set, by the way, is from Target. I think I featured it in one of my videos. It is so comfortable. But this dress right here is longer sleeve, but it screams Christmas. I'm ready to party. But the issue is the fabric makes me warm and the sleeves are longer. So I think we're gonna try on the black dress and hope that works. And if it doesn't, we'll put on the dress that screams Christmas. Merry Christmas. Here's another look in different lighting of my makeup and my hair. The shine drops really work. Okay, this is why I wanna grow out my hair, by the way. Cause look at how kind of like dead my blonde hair looks, but look at how shiny my brown hair is but I feel like I'm a blonde girl. Let me cover the blonde. You know, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm back. Here's the dress. It has pockets. It's a square neckline. It has this little like ruching at the top. You know, it's kind of cute, a little bit trendy, but it's so comfortable. So what do I do? Cause the other one definitely is more Christmas, but I still think this one's cute. I should have made my bed, but I didn't. I think this will work. It's simple, but it's effective. All right, you guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. We've reached the end together. I'm so sorry. I have to go to this party. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm gonna see some family who I haven't seen in a little while. I haven't seen any of Nick's family since coming up here to Jacksonville. So there's no time like the present on Christmas Eve, but I guess it's already past Christmas when you're seeing this video. So Merry Christmas, you guys. And if again, if you don't celebrate, happy holidays. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.